Sleep is one of the most important bodily functions, and easily one of the most neglected. If the health benefits of sleep were sold in a pill, people would be consuming them like candy. But unfortunately fostering a good night's sleep has its challenges, and so much of what we do in modern society pushes us further and further away from fostering good sleep hygiene. Luckily, thanks to sleep experts, there is a decent body of growing literature outlining the importance of sleep, as well as studies that detail exactly how to sleep better. A word of caution is that if you're already a bad sleeper, slowly integrate these habits, and don't add additional pressure and anxiety around sleep, as this will not help you develop a healthy relationship with sleep. Rather trust the process, and that over time, these sleep hygiene habits will lead to better sleep quality. The first habit that will benefit you in getting a good night's sleep is not consuming caffeine anytime after 12 p.m. Caffeine is a stimulant that is present in popular beverages such as sodas, teas, and coffee. While in low doses, caffeine should not have huge issues for the general population, in higher doses, it can be a major disruptor of healthy sleep as it blocks the chemical adenosine from reaching its receptor, which builds sleep pressure and causes us to feel tired. Reducing your caffeine content, limiting it to before noon, or cutting it out altogether can have major benefits on fostering a good night of sleep. Consider cutting out alcohol and other drugs as they also alter the sleep cycle and reduce the quality of sleep. Many people are under the assumption that alcohol and other drugs help them sleep. While these substances may reduce the time in which it takes to fall asleep, they have been shown to negatively impact sleep quality and create a dependency cycle, which is terrible for a consistent good night of sleep. The second sleep boosting habit is reducing the use of artificial light late at night, especially an hour or two before you plan to sleep. Artificial lights signal to your brain that it is daytime and that you should be awake and alert, which delays the release of melatonin. This false signal reduces your brain's ability to naturally fall asleep and can leave you tossing and turning for hours after hitting the pillow. The third habit is setting a consistent sleep time. Routine is extremely important in fostering good sleep hygiene. One way this can be achieved is getting up at the exact same time each day. Doing this consistently leads to you feeling tired at a suitable time, allowing you to more naturally get the correct amount of sleep. Others find it more useful to set a consistent time to go to bed each night. So experiment with this and find what works best for you. The final habit crucial to a good night's sleep is light exposure. This is something that I mention in my benefits of training outdoors video, which I highly recommend checking out at the end of the video, as it is a great way to compound the benefits of exercise and light exposure. Light exposure, especially at sunrise and sunset, tunes our circadian rhythm so that we get tired at the appropriate time. Think of your circadian rhythm as your body's internal clock that dictates sleep and wake cycles. This internal clock is very reliant on environmental cues, such as light, to keep it functioning in a healthy manner. While you are sleeping, the opposite is true. Avoid nighttime light exposure by using a good sleep mask or blackout blinds for the best quality sleep. I know that sleep is an area that many people, including myself, struggle with. So I hope that these tips help in achieving a good night's shut eye. As always, thanks so much for tuning in to this week's video and showing so much love and support on the content. 